Welcome to the show, everybody. Joseph Robert, the Fantasy Football Counselor. Before we get into the show, guys, we are full flow of fantasy football season. You can sense my energy. You can sense the intensity. Football's around the corner. I'm telling you guys, September 10th will be here before you know it. That means fantasy football's here. I'm already seeing the previews on the channel. Chiefs, Texans, going to be an exciting matchup. Deshaun Watson versus Pat Mahomes, David Johnson. Everyone's going to be on the field. I'm super excited. So before I get into this show, guys, Fantasy Football is here. A link below if you're on YouTube or head on over to thefantasyfootballcouncil.com. Get the 16-round draft solution, guys. This is the game changer for fantasy football analysis. I'm telling you guys, you will crush your leagues. I give you all the optimal players to draft in each round. Video training, omitting, omitting. All of the players that could potentially bust. Last year, I helped you guys avoid guys like Antonio Brown, round two. Guys like Damian Williams. Guys like Le'Veon Bell, round one. What the mainstream tell you is bullshit, guys. I'm telling you, copy, paste, cookie cutter, rankings, all that stuff, outdated magazines. Throw it out the window. Get 16-round draft solution. Link it below or head on over to thefantasyfootballcouncil.com. Now, let's get to the show. We're talking five wide receiver sleepers that I absolutely love. Let's get to it. Hi, this is Noah Fant. You're listening to the Fantasy Football Council. All right, guys, welcome to the show. Five wide receivers I absolutely love for Fantasy Football 2020. Like I said prior to the show, head on over to thefantasyfootballcouncil.com or linked it below. Get the 16-round draft solution, guys. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. This is the game changer. All right. Also, guys, smash the thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And also, leave your fantasy questions below. I'll try to get to as many as I humanly possibly can can leave your questions below and smash thumbs up again it genuinely helps the channel when you smash thumbs up means the world to me that's how i sleep at night i can't sleep without a thumbs up all right leave the thumbs up below thank you very much all right five and i think you tell my energy's up because i'm super excited about the season all right i'm gonna throw my voice up by the end of this episode all right let's get to it five wide receivers i absolutely love 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 i mean i want to just cuddle these guys and just hold them close and dear to my heart and it makes me feel good to draft them because I can get them for amazing value. That's the amazing thing about fantasy football sleepers because you get them for value because the mainstream analysts are sleeping on them, okay? So when you're in the early rounds of your draft, and I talk about this in the 16 round draft solution, link below, pinned comment, get it, you'll love it. I assure you'll have a bulletproof roster as close as possible to a bulletproof. I'm going to keep plugging it because I totally believe in it. So when you're getting these sleepers, you should already have pretty solid players to cover yourself. These guys are bonus breakouts. Don't come and tell me, oh, you told me this player round two because I never said that. You're drafting him at ADP and you're getting him for immense value. First guy here, no particular order, is Deontay Johnson. Last year had a mediocre year because he had mediocre quarterbacks thrown to him. 92 receptions, five touchdowns, 680 yards. Listen, this guy is sitting like 35th or 30 to 38th on the consensus rankings. He, he sucks according to what the Sheeps think, but they're sleeping on him because if you guys remember, even Big Ben, the guy finished top three amongst quarterbacks in 2018, leading in, in passing yards and leading in passing attempts. Okay, so... Big Ben throws a lot, and now he's got Deontay Johnson, who's kind of been compared to Antonio Brown. Obviously not as good because Antonio Brown was really special talent, but Deontay Johnson's a guy who has taken his conditioning uh, light years ahead of last year, and he's got a real quarterback throwing to him. So Deontay Johnson, man, love him, especially if they line up Juju in the slot. Deontay could be the one, and I'm telling you guys, Big Ben can throw can thread the needle. So I'm looking for a ton of targets, a ton of volume, a ton of touchdowns, and a ton of opportunity for Deontay, a guy you can get in like the sixth, seventh round with massive upside. I'm telling you guys, he's a big time sleeper, big time, big time, big time, big time. I cannot emphasize enough to make sure you have him on your roster. And I'm going to get to number two here because I want you guys to have both these guys on your roster. While everybody's investing a third round pick on Juju, you're getting Deontay and the next guy as another fantasy football wide receiver sleeper I love is uh, Chase Claypool. Why do I love Claypool? Because this guy was acquired relatively early, very early by the Steelers in draft capital, and they love him, and he's a big boy, man, 6'4", 238. I'm telling you guys, he didn't have the biggest year in college last year, over 1,000 yards, still 13 touchdowns, a solid year, but this guy, the Steelers know how to draft receivers, and they brought Claypool in because he's got upside. Now, I'm not saying get Claypool early. Get him, you know, pretty much in the last couple rounds, and you combo him with Deontay. Now, you've got the one, two in Steelers with an offense, like I said, where Big Ben throws the ball more than anybody else. Love these two guys, okay? Deontay, Claypool, 
wide receiver sleepers I must have, stack them. Again, if instead of getting uh, Juju in the third round, you get yourself a running back there and you stack these two guys, you're going to be very happy. It's a lot of draft capital. Yes, you're going to have two Steelers. One of them could be mediocre or boomer busty in Claypool, but it doesn't matter. He is uh, catching amazing catches in training camp over uh, their corner Hayden. I'm super excited about Claypool. Tons of upside and opportunities. So Deontay and Claypool. Next guy here, another rookie. I got two other rookies and then another guy in his second year. Let's get to two other rookies. Um, again, Deontay, not a rookie, second year player. Uh, and then we got Claypool who's a rookie. And then we got another rookie here, Michael Pittman. Love the upside, love the opportunity. 6'4", 223. Invested, you know, expensive draft capital. The Colts did in him with their first pick in the, in the draft in 2020. Had 101 receptions, 1,275 yards, 11 touchdowns last year in college. Listen, I love Michael Pittman, love the opportunity, love the upside. He's getting first team reps and they don't really have a solid number two behind Hilton and Hilton known to get injured. If you get Hilton, stack yourself Pittman. This is a situation I love. Similar situation to the Steelers where I'm telling you, you got yourself a guy in Rivers who was seventh in passing attempts last season. He's going to throw the ball a lot. Pittman is a sleeper steal. You get late completely off people's radars. Currently sitting 64th in the wide receiver rankings. Nobody's really targeting him unless they really follow my stuff or know wide receivers an opportunity. Huge opportunity. So again, perks here, good talent. You got a quarterback that throws the ball a lot. Rivers, who's got a chip on his shoulder to do well. Amazing O-line. And Jonathan Taylor is going to potentially break out this year. Love him. And then you've got Michael Pittman. I mean, the opportunity is huge for him when you got a quarterback, an O-line, an offense that's going to throw the ball. And then the other wide receivers in Campbell, he's done nothing, right? The other wide receivers done nothing there. I know there's some opportunity for the receivers to step up like Paris Campbell, but you know, Pittman was drafted, like I said, the first pick by the Colts for a reason because they don't believe in the other guys and, and obviously Hilton's injury, right, and the veteran. So I love the opportunity for Michael Pittman, huge upside and a sleeper. Next two guys, another guy, first let's start off with the rookie, Justin Jefferson, plug and play out of LSU, had a phenomenal year last year, over 1,500 yards, um, you know, 111 receptions. Justin Jefferson's a plug and play he is going to be a guy that's going to get the volume right away, doing well in training camp, getting the opportunity. And I'm telling you guys, you get this guy as your wide receiver, 3-4, with upside. People are sleeping on him. Believe me, he's going to get some work. Huge draft capital in him invested by the Vikings. He's going to get work. Love him this year, sitting 53rd amongst wide receiver rankings. Big time sleeper. And the last guy here, from what I'm hearing from uh, Packers training camp, he is getting all of the reps at wide receiver two, first uh, team reps. He is the wide receiver two. MVS had the opportunity last year, did nothing. Jerome Ileson has been shipped off. Valdez Scaling did nothing literally last year. Alan Lazard had a couple good games. And what I noticed that in week 16, he had nine targets, week 17, eight targets. So he was getting targeted more down the stretch of the season. 6'5", over 227 you know, pounds. He's got Aaron Rodgers, another guy who's got a chip on his shoulder. So if you've noticed, every wide receiver here has got a veteran quarterback who's a pretty good quarterback throwing him the ball. So I look at opportunity. I look at players. I look at the opportunity. I look at the talent. I look at the depth chart. I look at who's throwing the ball. And I look at the value in the fantasy football draft. And I look at all these guys and I say, hey man, I love these guys because I can get them for literally free and they can be plug and play starters. They're going to give me immense value and could be top 10, top 20 finishers at the end of the season at the wide receiver position. We saw it last year with guys like Shark, who everybody had them off the radar, McLaurin, who had big games and were actually huge fantasy factors. So this is the year, yes, I'm not really into rookie wide receivers the first year coming out of the gate, but all signs, including quarterbacks, early draft capital that these teams invested in these wide receivers, talent, opportunity, depth chart, all of these factors play into uh, these guys here, and that's why I love them. I love the opportunity, love the upside, love the ceiling of all of these guys. So again, let's recap here. Deontay Johnson, love the value, love the opportunity, love the talent. Got him at number one here as a guy I love. Number two, Chase Claypool. Again, no particular order. I just had to put an order as I list them off to you. Deontay Johnson, Claypool, stack them. Stack them late. Mid to late rounds. I love, again, Michael Pittman. Love Rivers throwing to him. Love that whole opportunity. That offense is completely underrated overall. Rivers is a sleeper. T.Y. Hilton, fifth round value. Sleeper, technically a wide receiver one. Jonathan Taylor, third to fourth round guy. Guy that's going to, you know, where they're going to ride the hot hand with Marlon Mack. But Taylor's going to be the guy that's going to take that job. You know, you got Michael Pittman there as a big time sleeper. Then you got Justin Jefferson, a guy at LSU who is elite talent coming out here. 
plug and play, one of the top wide receiver prospects. And then you got Alan Lazard, a guy who is a wide receiver too with Aaron Rodgers. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, am I excited. And I'm telling you guys, you get some of these guys on your roster, you're going to be very, very happy. Now, I'm actually in a league where I've got all of these guys on my roster as a receiver, and I got Galladay to boot uh, and to start the, the train there. Love that team. I, I, I'm beyond excited about these five players. They are fantasy football sleepers I love. So again, guys, if you like the channel, you found some value here. If what I'm saying makes sense to you, I appreciate it. La leave a thumbs up and leave your fantasy questions below. And of course, guys, get the 16-round draft session. You guys are going to be very, very happy with it. You can have a close to as bulletproof roster as humanly possible at thefantasyfootballcouncer.com. Or also, guys, I've linked it below. I appreciate it. And of course, guys, follow Fan to Fan Network on Instagram or on Twitch at FTFN or here on YouTube as well. Fan to Fan Network is phenomenal, guys. It'll help you guys crush your leagues in fantasy, but also give you a lot of reality advice as well. Thank you guys for being here. It means the world to me. I am out. And again, fantasy football season is around the corner. Thank you, guys. We'll talk soon.